Hello there, in this video I'm going to teach you how to fix error code 128 on Staple Diffusion. Now, your first step is you can go over to this article for some help. These are the following causes that your Stable Diffusion needs to detect your proper ownership and the file inside uh, the Stable Diffusion is not completely cloned this also needs to be checked like if you have some missing files it's not going to launch and give you error code 128 or if you didn't run the file as an administrator while installing it in the first place that could cause some issues too as you need an administrator to install some of them another issue could be your system requirements in order to run stable diffusion you need to have a nvidia graphic card with over 4 GBs of VRAM as it does not work on AMD graphic cards yet. In order to fix it, you can actually just add your email address on the Git client and then install it. That can also resolve it, so just go over to the Git client application and then add your email there. Otherwise, you can go over and fix the issues with the file itself. So in case you get error 28, there is a possibility that the error is within your download instead. So what you're going to do is copy this command, git config dash global dash edit. This is going to like automatically scan and download the missing files from your repository. So what you're going to do is go over to your stable diffusion web UI folder. Scroll down to the repositories folder and then on the top over here click it and type cmd. It's going to run cmd within this file and all you're going to do is copy paste that command. And then hit run it's going to scan and download all the missing ones if it can't find the repository you're going to actually just launch cmd on its own so cmd make sure it's in administrator mode and over here you're going to paste this command this command won't always be the same as you might have it installed in another folder so what you're going to do is instead of this part of the actual command you're going to add your folder location if you want to find that out go over to the folder and then copy this from the top and you can paste that instead of this area if that still doesn't work your final option is to delete the entire repository and install it again you can delete the whole folder and delete it from your app data by going into windows r and pasting this command over here after that you're just going to reinstall the whole thing and that should fix it after the download is done you're going to run the web ui user.bat file as administrator which is this file in the stable diffusion web ui area webui.bat all you're going to do is run it as admin and it should work that sums up the video thank you for watching and goodbye